Can I convince you again that this is colonic mucosa? Of course I can, because that's exactly what it is. And it doesn't look terribly bad either. You can see an abundant amount of a mucus glandular cells in these crypts of Lieber Kuhn. You could see some perhaps neuroendocrine or maybe panath cells. Uh, I believe these are probably panath cells uh, at the base of the crypts. You can see a, fair, a intact uh, muscularis mucosae. You can see the normal distribution of cells and vessels and lymphatics uh, between the glands, also within the lamina propria of the mucosa. And of course, it is not unusual to have a lot of uh, lymphoid tissue within the submucosa. And as you also should probably know already, anywhere you have lymphoid tissue, you can have tumors of lymphoid tissue. And uh, it's not just lymph nodes that get lymphomas. It's also areas where there is perhaps mucosal associated lymphoid tissue. The name of this case is Burkitt's lymphoma colon. Whereas I convinced you that this uh, area here looked kind of like a normal mucosa of maybe a little more inflammation than usual. And whereas you could probably still recognize that this is the smooth muscle of the colon, the uh, circular muscle, uh, and perhaps some longitudinal fibers over here, you will also quickly noted that the muscle has been infiltrated by what look uh, at first like they are lymphocytes, and that's because they are lymphocytes, but they are lymphocytes that are growing in a malignant, haphazard fashion. Burkitt's lymphoma is a lymphoma, and we're going to be getting into a lot of lymphoma cases soon, and I really very much uh, resent the idea that I should try to teach you how to diagnose all the different lymphomas, mostly because I have no idea how to do it myself. Lymphomas are one area of pathology that have been tremendously overhauled and chronically confused people into uh, fear over the years with all the various classifications. But nevertheless, I will say one thing about all the lymphoma cases, including this one. Whenever you have lymphoid tissue that doesn't differentiate into normal follicles or perhaps completely destroys the overall architecture of what a lymphoid, uh, of what a lymph node should look like, and the cells still look like lymphoid cells, either a lot like normal lymphocytes or even a little, you can diagnose a lymphoma. This is a lymphoma. There's a lot of different kinds. Um, but the kind that we have here is a relatively undifferentiated kind of lymphoma. It's usually found in kids. It's usually found in Africa. It's frequently found in the jaw. It's associated with uh, chromosomal and genetic uh, anomalies. But the one thing about Burkitt's lymphoma I want you to remember is that it has always classically been described as what we call the starry sky appearance. And that's because if you look at it at medium power, like you see here, you will see whiter areas like there, 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 that almost look like stars in the sky. Perhaps this is more apparent in an area like this, where you see clear areas here, 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 definitely here, here. It's like stars in the sky. Uh, Burkitt's lymphomas have uh, always been described as having a starry sky appearance. And if you can see, the star represents a cytoplasmic area, relatively void in nuclei, but surrounded almost like a rosette in neuroblastoma with tumor cells. The tumor cells of Burkitt's lymphoma are very, very undifferentiated, but they still look like lymphocytes, don't they? because they have minimal cytoplasm, generally round or oval nuclei, and they stain very, very bluish. Notice how there's very, very little cytoplasm in these cells. Notice how you have uh, increased mitotic figures, like over here, or possibly over here. Um, 
definitely over here definitely over here in addition this one looks like an abnormal mitosis doesn't it it doesn't look like your normal uh, bipolarity uh, mitosis this is Burkitt's lymphoma of the colon and thank you very much